Alright everyone, welcome to episode 42 of the Darkest Dungeon playthrough, which is rather ironic. Uh, when I was recording the previous episode of the series, episode 41, Pathogenic Problems, I was fine and healthy, and I find it very funny now that I'm recording the episode right after that, uh, talking about path pathogens, I'm now sick. So, my voice might sound different, I might sneeze during the recording, hopefully if I do I'll let that out. Um, but, yeah, so I'm sick and grumpy, but that's not going to stop the YouTube series from happening. So, it's been a little while since I recorded last time, and I forgot that, well, for whatever reason, we were going to fight the Necromancer Lord. That's uh, because we have a, and it wasn't for whatever reason, I, I know now. Um, it's because we had that huge experience bonus and 15% uh, damage bonus in the ruins, which will help against this fight. This is the only conceivable fight I can think of that I can bring Poggers to, that he's not going to be a total joke. Um, yes, it's gonna take a, a nine experience to level him up, but but to level him up. But this dungeon plus the experience bonus we get is most certainly gonna get him to level six. We're also gonna take Richmond, same thing. Uh, he's gonna hit level six from this. Wintergreen, any mission would have done it, but this will be an opportunity to bump him to level six. And then our other highwayman will bump bump him to level six as well. Um, back at home base, we're gonna do a couple couple up building upgrades that'll show off. So we're gonna get our third. Um, our third slot in the cloister open here. Gilded icons and dogmatic rituals. For some, a tonic against the bloodshed. We're also going to take Dirk and have him meditate in the cloister because he's very stressed out. So, an abomination in the church. I wonder... Uh, I'm surprised that interaction can even happen. Alright, um... I also would like to upgrade here in the stagecoach uh, experience recruits. We don't have enough busts, but we have plenty of crests to convert over. So I've shown this off before. You can the good thing about crests is you can never have enough of them because you can convert them into everything else. Uh, I think we need nine, so that's gonna be seven. And while it is expensive, um, in this situation we have enough crests to do that. So great heroes can be found even here, in the mud and rain. So yeah, that's not too bad. Uh, now we can get some level 1 heroes, so that, that'll save us a level. Sometimes randomly level 1 character will show up now. That'll save us a dungeon we have to do uh, in case we need an Atomist replacement. I'd like to get an Atomist replacement, but there's no Jester in here, right? Yeah, not yet. Okay. So we have our party. We're going to do, we're gonna do a, little, a couple upgrades here in the Blacksmith. We can't afford too much, but we can afford to get Richmond and Poggers at level 4 gear each. That puts us at 24,000. Um, that would put us at 12,000 if we decided to get them all to rank 5 stuff, but they also don't have skills that we can't really afford to upgrade, so... It's going to be more of a selective run, actually. Um, Wintergreen's already done. I'm going to choose to get uh, Pistol Shot ra maxed out for our... Um, our Highwayman here. Let me get a max rank on both Collect Bounty and... Finish him. I'm gonna get max rank on shop, just because I think it's very likely uh, and solemnity. That we'll use these abilities a lot, and it's cheaper than buying everything. Uh, so we have enough to afford that. Our mission, like I mentioned, is taking on the Necromancer Lord. I believe this is the first max level or champion level boss will show off on YouTube. Uh, you guys have seen the other two Necromancer fights. The Necromancer is not, in my opinion, a super hard boss. Although on this difficulty, I believe he can summon every skeleton in the game, including. Skeleton Commanders, which we've seen on, on YouTube a couple of times, and I don't think you guys have seen the Skeleton Banner Man yet. Um, I don't know if we'll see one, but they're really annoying because they can call for reinforcements, and of course the boss can call for reinforcements. So what can happen is you get a Banner Man and the boss, which just endlessly call for Skeleton Commanders, which are those huge 80 hit point guys in the front that can stun your whole party. And if that happens, I don't know of a single party that can actually beat that a bunch of bannermen commando spam, but that's very unlikely to happen, and this party should do okay. Like I said, Pogger shouldn't be too bad here. Uh, for our items, we're gonna be, um, on Winter Green, we're gonna be taking still the standard uncommon and common uh, Witch Vial and Blight Amulet. It does exactly what we want it to do. It boosts his stun, which is the biggest asset of Plague Doctor, and his Blights, which is the second biggest asset of a Plague Doctor, so. Uh, for Highwaymen, uh, standard Gunslinger's Buckle to, to boost his range power, and Camouflage Cloak for that, that stun, for that dodge, which surprisingly is still decent in this dungeon. Um, Richmond's a bit different, because 
of what Pogger says. So Richmond has the crescendo, the crescendo box to give him speed and damage, and the Book of Sanity to reduce the stress. This item gives him 10% stress. This is tw negative 20, so overall negative 10% stress. Poggers actually has the Berserk Mask, which we picked up last time. Um, it does reduce his healing massively, and it also does reduce his, his chance to turn Virtuous. But it gives him plus 3 speed, which he badly needs, and it gives him a pretty huge crit bonus at 8%. I decided to combine that with the accuracy and crit bonus of the Focus Ring. So the man has a whopping 22% critical hit chance before revenge is applied. If we apply revenge, that's a 32% critical hit chance on the character that does massive damage already. He could be one-shotting front row, guys, so I look forward to that. Um, so that's the party. Uh, we already made our upgrades. We don't have much money left, so let's get right into it. Face off against the Necromancer Lord. For our provisions, one firewood for standard use. Uh, we're going to run this down to our standard 20 food again. You probably only need to take 16. I've seen some people take 12. It's just, it's, it's, from a stat standpoint, we should get about two hunger pings this level. I have enough food for five, uh, assuming we, we used one to camp. So that's probably two extra that I have, but eh, I don't know. This, this playthrough screwed me over enough with food. For shovels, we'll take three. This is not, well, there are the... Yeah, scratch that. There's the... There's the box we can break into. I forget what it's called. But it's actually too curious we, we use the shovel here for. Anti-venom in case we get the chemistry bench. Um, another medicinal herbs for the ma uh, Iron Maidens. Uh, we, we'll take standard triple keys. Take our standard 14 torches. And I guess we'll, we'll grab two holy water in case for buffs. But we'll drop those pretty early if we have to. Alright guys, um, we're all set up for this champion level boss. And I will see you guys at the beginning of the dungeon. Alright, YouTube, here we are, back at the entrance of the dungeon. Now, with this dungeon layout, I did have to do some quick math, but not too bad. The boss has to be here, up in this corner, which gives us an, an interesting conundrum, because champion dungeons you don't always want to walk back through. We're going to head down, we're going to initially head for the room. If things are going very well, I might actually hit these three rooms in the bottom before going to the boss, but likely we're just going to head right to the boss and then backtrack later, unless we're doing really, really well. So. No one really has stress. It's not worth taking the chance for that one stress. We'll take the character that has a 90% trap disarm, which both Richmond and the, uh, and our Highwayman have. We'll have Richmond try it out here. He does successfully disarm the trap. Okay. Loot bag. What do we got? Some gold. Alright, not too bad. There's no enemy in this room due to us scouting it, so we don't need to use a torch. No more scouting thing. Very nice. There is an obstacle up coming up. Chemistry bench. Very nice. So this, we need the medicinal... Uh, I thought we used the anti-venom for this, but I guess it's the herbs. Get those confused a lot. We have a blockage here, which is... Even the common. cold stone seems bent on preventing passage. Okay. Now we have no more scouting ping, so it's time to light, light up this hallway. Nice third ping there. Probably gonna do a third, uh... No, I'll wait until we get down the hallway. And then I'll do the... Oh, no. Did we get shuffled? Nope. <clears throat> Shouldn't have waited. Alrighty. So we can go for a stun on the witch. Probably a good idea. We don't want her acting. Boggers can decimate her pretty effectively. Uh, he, he does do... More damage with... Fin oh, because they're stunned. Gotcha. Miss! Okay, how about, how about Poggers? 19. Confidence okay, as the enemy not as good as it could have been, but we got rid of the Stress Dealer, which is good. That attack is unlikely to crit. This uh, Bone Sergeant will do good damage, but likely not crit. Nope, a dizzying mind. blow to There's body crit. and brain. Dodge. Wow, okay. It's 120 accuracy there. I'm missing the dodge. Strange. Now, the downside of this party is that we have no decent healing. Which is a pretty big downside. But we should be able to kill everything fast enough. That isn't a problem. 
I don't know. We'll see how this goes. That shit's done. Now our Richmond level thought. Let's not miss anymore. There we go. Annihilated. This should not kill. Yeah. See if we can have Poggers go for heal on himself here. It's gonna be a lesser heal because of that mask, but see what we can do. Green Never mind. Ears. Poggers just can't heal. Okay. Blurred vision. The end approaches. Ah, that was a kill. All right. Seize this moment. That's a really bad. Uh, Push on to the lead. task's end. Too bad it didn't bring bandages. Yeah, well. Richmond's stealing things again. Okay, we definitely want uh, all this stuff. Do we have any need for portraits anymore? Hmm. I don't... Uh, no. Take the money and we'll have... After all this damage is over, we'll heal everybody with some food. Because we have some extra food here we can heal with. You don't know what's in this room, so it's best to best to go full light. We have okay. So this is a group where wow, what's our accuracy? 115, and it's a good chance to miss the madman. That should stun them if it hit him. All right, Richmond, counting on you, man. Don't miss anymore. We gotta destroy this madman. Oh, he already left stun. It stinks. Okay. Uh, okay, better to do that, because Poggers is probably not going to hit him with no his high quarter. dodge. It's bizarre seeing Poggers in a situation where he needs to actually heal himself. Hopefully we can get him back up in this fight. Axe Blade. Yikes. Yep. Such a terrible assault All right. cannot be left unanswered. I certainly didn't expect this outcome. He's dead. He's gonna die. Nope. Come on, Wintergreen. Have to heal him. Okay. Can't even get back there because of this lineup. We can mark him so our highwayman will hopefully be able to one shot this this guy. Come on. Aim true. Excellent. Obliterated. Alright, you gotta like kill people, man. No, they're not. I'm gonna go for the heal. He's not marked or anything, so they might they might not both attack him. Alright, good. Graveyard slash going on someone else. Axe blade on somebody else. Morality wow! Clarified in a single this is crazy, strike. guys. Crits on attacks that just don't crit. Not often anyway. Nice crit heal. We're gonna need a camp to heal, uh, heal Richmond. Goodness. Okay, well at least he's got no, uh, no debuffs. Terrible vistas of emptiness reveal themselves. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. We should have to heal Poggers here, but I don't think we can. We gotta make sure... Ooh, this is rough, guys. Alright, this... Nope! Nah, that's, about that. that's my own dumb fault. Alright, we, we, we didn't get to act next. I should have hewed. It's alright, it's alright. Eleven. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. Let's go for a stun. Try to heal for party here. Stun chance. Oh, you can't be stunned in that position. All right. Hopefully this. Uh, let's see. Stun chance. 
I'd be okay with this honestly hitting. Well, or we can just go for we, we can go for a kill here. Very unlikely that we land it, but get a crit stun maybe. Let's try that. If he hits Richmond again, I'm okay with that. Ah, I don't, Hogger's the one I don't want to hit. Okay, it's alright. Didn't crit. You're gonna have to heal in uh, camp. Alright, screw what I said about loot. We're, we're, we're going right for the boss. We need to camp to heal these guys. They can also eat, though. Hoggers can heal himself. That's what I'm worried about. Can't really stall any longer. As the fiend Take the stress falls, heal and uh, get out of here. A faint hope blossoms. More food, fantastic. All right. He's full. Yeah, right, we're okay there. What do we want to drop, if anything? Or do we just not care about resources at this point? I'm gonna say we're not gonna see the herbs again. So, boy, can we go on without camping? We have for camping skills. Yeah, it helps kill boss. We don't want to camp because of that. Uh. It's not good, honestly. Okay. On poggers. Good for boss prep, good for stress. We have a heal. Yes, we do. Costs four, but it's a big heal. Alright. I am going to try to get closer to the boss room without taking it, because I, I definitely want to use this on the boss. Decorative urn. We get to use our uh, holy water. Nice. Gold, that was worth in it. Baubles, paid for in blood. All right. Trap on the worst character it could have hit. Cruel machinations. What's the debuff look like? Nothing. With a right. singular purpose. I, I, we have to camp now. Let's hope there's no fight in this room. Okay. Yep, we have to camp. I'm not risking it at this point. Spark without kindling. I'm taking the full. Taking it. Hope. Taking the full heal. So the game hits me with two hunger pings for the boss fight. Okay, vapors. First order of business. There we go. Okay, unparalleled finesse probably and gallows humor maybe. No, unparalleled finesse and plant takedown. You know, I built this party more on the idea of killing the boss, and we don't even have a deflect ambush. This is not good. This, this, if we die, it's entirely my dark. fault. A blazing star is born. This party is meant to slam jam the final boss here, but or the boss of this dungeon. But I don't know if we can get to him without dying. That all that camp did was it reset that one bad fight we had. If we can get to him without any more bad fights. That's a, that'll be good. But we have to get there. The light. The promise of safety. Okay. You, Bone Sergeant, you're worse than I thought. Okay, I think oh, that's fine. Nice. I'm almost would rather take the stress than the damage now, which is crazy. It's the opposite of what I said earlier, but at this point, and I, I love to blight them both, but it's not. We have to stun her. Because she can pull. Her, her pull is worse than her. Uh, worse thing else. Okay, we can. Chance of killing. Not high, but. These two can deal with her, I think. Alright. Mess her up. That's that's lame. That's incredibly lame and disheartening. We'll do it. Never mind, she lives anyway. Okay. Zombie scratch, that's fine. Nice dodge. Okay, very good. This is the one we don't want to crit. Okay, 12. And a goblet. Okay, 6. I wanted to heal there, but... Nice! Big crit. Let's see if we can take some time to heal, uh... Heal up Richmond here. 
and perhaps mark. This is we can't mark him, we can't see him. Alright, that should be a stun on that cultist. No, it's not. Okay. Uh, nice dodge. Alright. This is gonna be a big grave. Oh, it did not hit. It hit. Oh, excellent. Excellent. That's what we needed. That's the break we needed. Apparently he's going again. He dodged it again. That's kind of weird. Okay. Uh, gotta, I, I want to heal Richmond, but we can't do it. Gotta go for the stun on the bone, Sergeant. There we go. Foggers is so bad in this dungeon. Why did I bring him? Because it wouldn't work anywhere else. I don't want to kill. I'd like to get... Nah, this shouldn't kill. I want to get a heal on, uh, on Richmond. This should not kill. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. Let's uh, pop a torch, I guess. As the light gains purchase, Let's keep moving. spirits are lifted, and purpose is made clear. Yeah, I don't like this. I do not like this. We have two more rooms to go through. Hoping for surprise In radiance, rounds every time. May we, find victory. we might be able to get the boss, or get those buffs on the boss though, if we can get to him without a fight. Please no fight in this room before the boss fight. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, but there is a fight before the boss though. Alright. It's not perfect, but I think we can make it. Hunger Ping is fine, as long as we don't get another- well, actually, we, we, we can even take one more. Screw the rest of this dungeon, I'm not doing it. We're just killing the boss and we're getting out of here. We have some decent loot already. Alright. Food. We're hoping for food. No, Wealth sorry. beyond measure. Oh, that's fine as well. Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. Keys are useless. Yep. Shop keys. Okay, we're not touch Oh no. Okay. What wouldn't this be funny? I'm not sure if I've talked about this, the Shambler altar yet. It's this Curio. If our idiots touch this without, no oh man, let's just hope they don't touch it. Just walk past it. Okay, good. We got a fight right here. What is it? This is okay. This 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 is potentially bad, but not for. Uh, this is. Uh, uh. Uh, this is kind of bad actually. These two I'm not worried about, because they don't shoot one target, they shoot everybody equally. It's these guys that can mess up. Do we go for kills here, or do we go to try to stun them? Try to stun them, I guess. Nice, he doesn't get an action now. We have to blight now, because that just kind of stinks. Alright. Excellent. That's really good for us. Who's up? You? Reveal, or maybe go for a kill? He can't even act. Reveal this one. So the guy up here is gonna have rush shot because these gunners don't like to be in his first position. So he's gonna be he's gonna have a useless attack. Yep. Oh no, don't have don't have a hit. Oh, are you kidding me? Actually hit. Alright. Nice. Our man in the front absorbed the absorbed all the damage. Let's go first on the gunner. Hopefully that brings him up. Oh, okay, not not the first position. Yikes. How quickly the okay. tide turns. Crit on winter green is okay. We just need to be able to act before this guy throws it. Alright, you gotta die. Very nice. Alright. Dodged it. I wanted to heal him there, now... Uh, nope, we gotta go for the son of the hour guy. Hopefully that brings him up. It does. This guy might do rush shot. No, he's not gonna get a chance to. Okay. We're gonna try to stall this fight out now. Shoot the body. Don't kill. Winter Green, let's go for a heal. Crud. Don't kill. Oh, okay. Excellent, more food. Perfect. Okay. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. Alright. So we can't take a hunger ping in the fight, so we're gonna eat all of our food right now. Who else needs it? What are you thinking? Double on poggers or double on yeah. Here we go, lads. This is going to be heavily reliant on us surprising the boss, which can't happen. 
Towering. Fierce. Terrible. Okay, six feet under. Stress, that's okay, and everyone is a Oh, Bone General first. Or, I thought this guy was the commander, I'm sorry, Bone General. Hmm. Our highwayman acting first. That's a bit of an odd an odd ball there. We could have him use tracking shot, which would give him a huge buff for the rest of the fight. Or do you want to save it for the bone skeletons? Or the bone sar uh, sergeants. I think we have to save it. So let's just do damage there. Let's have you do extra damage to the, to the ball. Oh, we can't. Uh, okay. Let's have you stun this nice crit. Stun this guy. Bumbling. He doesn't move, sadly. Shuffle the boss up to first position. The poggers can whack him. Nice. Boggers, do your thing. Hoping for higher than 19, but that's not bad. Boss was stunned. Um, can we blight the boss? We cannot. We can, however, buff... Who's gonna have the most damage here? Probably... Richmond, because he does a bonus against big units. Put a bleed on the boss. He does bleed, excellent. 18, can Richmond act before he does? Yes, he can. It does more damage. The same, but good crit chance. Alright. Yes! Huge hit. Excellent. Boss is at half health. That was good for us. Now things are going to get a bit harder, because we can't stun them. As easily. Maybe a second crit? Nope, but damage nonetheless. Alright. Clawing dead. Good. Attack the back two rows. That, that's where we have our extra health. Let's keep stacking it on. It's a race now, boys. Can Wintergreen do a stun at 115? That's 140, that's 155. Technically unlikely. Probably be better to blight the boss. A stun would, would debatably win us the game though. We're gonna go for it. And he lands it. Okay, that's excellent for us. Boggers just needs to not miss. Excellent. Crushing blow by the perfect! Smash the leper! That's the way we brought him. Alright. Yes. Very good. 16 damage. 43 damage kill. Excellent job. Oh, that is such trash items. Okay. Wow, that's garbage. Literal garbage. Uh, we're we're gonna leave. I just want to check my stuff here. Okay. Well, not the best haul ever, but hey, we 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 won that. That was that winter green stun. Man, I'm glad I, I took the risk on that. That was a low, less than 50% chance of succeeding. About a 40% chance, roughly. But that was huge. That prevented the boss from being able to do anything. So, excellent job, lads. I'm okay at that, 26,000. <laughs> Excuse me. 26,675 gold. Not bad, that's more than we spent, so technically we made some cash. We also picked up 30 additional crests on top of the heirlooms we, we pulled out, so 46 crests. And the Necromancer's Collar, which is an excellent item in case we ever go back here. And the Fortifying Garlic, which I might actually use. So, not bad. That should be enough to get everyone rank 6. That it is. Podras picked up the Og, we'll get rid of that. Unholy A to replace Eagle Eye, that's the, I'm okay with that. And Winter Green is now rank 6. Excellent job, guys. That was... That. You answered the letter. Now, like me, you are a part of this place. That's about as well as I was hoping the boss fight would go. But getting there was risky. Was it a risk worth taking? Probably not. But, we have an excellent cast of characters now, all in high rank, so... Good job, boys. As for me, I'm going to be putting uh, Poggers in, in here for to cure the Og. And is there anyone else that has to be treated? I don't think so. Uh, Richmond probably should. He does have high-ish high stress. Yeah, it's 49 stress. We'll throw him in the cloister. Okay, so we have 5,000 more gold than we started this episode with, and we took down a champion level boss. Picked up the Necromancer's Collar trophy, which is... Again, something that I'd like to put on uh, Gandalf, actually. 
if we if we run another mission because Gandalf already gets a huge bonus in the in in the crypt and this is just ridiculous 20% damage and 8% crit I mean that is that's awesome so probably gonna combine that with uh, some other item that gives crit and then damage like the uh, the crescendo box perhaps so we'll see anyway we survived that was a bit that was a little hairy there for a short time but we made it out of there boss defeated most of our party is at rank six. If I can find a way to have Middleton, Dirk, Zach Kimbo, and Gandalf be a party, I, I don't know if that works. Actually, yeah, yeah, it kind of works. That definitely works. We can have Middleton as the third guy. Can he heal from the third position? He can. And we will have Zach Kimbo in the back, and then we'll have a bomb up up front with Gandalf. Excellent. Okay. Anyway. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of The Darkest Dungeon.